Well guys, the news we've been waiting for for a long freaking time is here. The Fun Pimps officially released information today, and I'm going to put a link to the original video in the description down below if you want to go check it out, and they posted it on all the socials, which I also shared. Seven Days to Die is leaving early access and going to version 1.0 in June. I'm going to put a picture, boom, on the uh, screen up here of the roadmap they have. So in June of this year, Seven Days to Die is going to leave early access and considered alpha status on Steam and it's going to version 1.0. In July, a month after that, they're going to be releasing the console version. Now the console news we have is that the original version that you probably already own on console right at the moment cannot be updated. It's the change in the hardware, the way licensing works, the complete change in the game. It cannot be updated. So, for this is the news. I know not every console user is going to be happy about this. For the new version that's coming out on consoles, you will have to repurchase that. But they did say that they're working with Sony and Microsoft to be able to and offer a discounted rate for anybody who's buying it that already owns the game. Once it releases, the original version that's on consoles right now will be delisted from the store, meaning you can't buy it anymore. If you already own it, you can still go back and play the original version if you still wanted to, but you'll also have a secondary install of what they're calling Exodus. Seven Days to Die is the new version of it. They've also released what they're going to be doing in the additional quarters. Like later on in this year, they're going to be redoing the weather system and biome progressions. Quarter two of next year, they're bringing in bandits, uh, UI main menu overhaul, new event system, new quest types. And then quarter four of 2025 is what they're going to be doing for the long term. The story mode, bringing in the Duke, uh, Steam Workshop support, meaning so modding will be a whole lot easier for people. Uh, redoing the way traders are doing. So even though the game is going out to version 1.0 in June, they're still going to be working and doing supported updates all the way through at least the next year. And then who knows what's actually going to be on from that. So I thought this was really good news. Uh, you can go, there's some more questions you may have. You can go check out the original video down the below. Uh, you can leave it in the comments and I'll try and answer those for you if I know the answer to those. But this is exciting news. So if you want to see more, obviously, you know, I've been doing seven days since 2013 and I'm not going anywhere. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on all the future videos. Uh, leave a like on the video and uh, get ready, console users, because it's coming.